Welcome, fellow adventurers, to a showcase of some truly remarkable Hidden Gem Skyrim mods. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil these must-have treasures for your Skyrim experience. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. First of all, I'm delighted to introduce you to S. Sekiro Blocking and Flash. S. Sekiro Blocking and Flash is a mod that changes Skyrim's combat to be more similar to Sekiro's combat. However, this mod does not provide an MCM, so you can adjust the values through console commands. When blocking, you enter a parrying state where you can deflect the enemy's attack for 0.3 seconds. In this state, your defensive abilities are significantly increased. Deflecting the enemy's attack also triggers a flashing effect and restores a small amount of stamina. The flashing effect prevents natural stamina regeneration for one second when aiming at the enemy's stamina. This command determines the available parrying time. Setting it below zero seconds will forcibly apply 0.3 seconds. Even with 0.01 seconds, there may be a slight delay due to script speed. You can input a number between 0, 01, and 999, with the default being 0.3. Upon successful carrying, if the enemy meets certain conditions, they will enter a staggered state. In this state, the enemy becomes rigid and takes significantly increased damage from melee weapons. The condition for entering the staggered state is when the enemy's stamina is at zero, and enemies under this effect have their stamina fully restored again. This console command determines the additional melee weapon damage dealt when successfully parrying. Inputting a value other than 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, or 3 will result in the increased damage being set to zero, with the default being 1.5. Upon successful parrying, enemies with a maximum stamina of 200 or more take 15% of their total stamina as damage. A bright flashing effect appears on all defenses, and parrying exhibits a bright flash. The parry and stagger sounds have been replaced with those from Sekiro, making the mod lighter in terms of scripting compared to the previously known Inpa Sekiro mod. The console command for stamina recovery upon successful parrying can be set between 0 and 100, with a default of 20. Additionally, this console command determines the percentage of damage dealt upon successful parrying with a default of 15%. You can input a value between 0 and 100. Next, we have Victory Screen and Fanfare. This mod enhances the modern RPG elements by displaying special text and fanfare when defeating dungeon bosses, providing an experience reminiscent of Souls-like games. Despite having 77 endorsements, it offers intriguing features, making it worth introducing to you. Next up is Spirit Wolf Sprint. This mod grants your character the ability to transform into a spirit wolf when sprinting. It's reminiscent of a druid transforming into a giant wolf spirit. This mod not only changes the appearance, but also provides a stat buff. When transformed into a spirit wolf, your movement speed is increased by 50% at the cost of 5 mana per second. While this mod may not be getting as much attention on Nexus, I believe it's worth introducing to you. Experience a more dynamic and fantastical Skyrim. Next up is Store Entrance Doorbells. This mod adds the effect of a doorbell ringing when you open a store. It enhances the atmosphere of the shop and can serve as a warning to would-be thieves trying to break in at night. Through Faux Mod, you can choose the conditions for the doorbell to ring. You can make it so the doorbell doesn't ring when you open the door in sneak mode or require the Lightfoot perk for it not to ring. Although small, consider adding this mod to ring an alert in your Skyrim. Next up is Epic UI Audio Overhaul Sound Interface. 
This mod transforms the sound interface of the game into a new and epic style. The creator took inspiration from the Paper UI Sounds for Skyrim mod, but made modifications or added new sounds to give an even more fantastic RPG feel. The quality of the sound is quite impressive, so I wanted to introduce it to you. Next, we have Morning Fogs SSE. This mod adds beautiful morning fogs to the lakes and rivers of Skyrim. Through the MCM, users can customize the fog's height, density, color, and more to their liking. There's even an option for those who prefer thinner fog than the original. Now, enjoy a more immersive Skyrim with the mysterious and fantastical fog around the lakes in the early morning. Next, we have Reich Corrugate. This mod adds a small village to the south of Ivarstead. While there are many other village expansion mods created by Schlitzor, Reich Corrugate stood out, mainly because of its unique and beautiful structure, with the village nestled around the mountains. Exploring the village gives you a feeling of ascending a mountain, adding an extra layer of enjoyment for players embarking on fantasy adventures. Although this mod was created in 2021 and might have been forgotten by many players, I decided to introduce it because of its remarkably beautiful and unique cityscape. Finally, let me introduce the DM BDOR Muburus outfit. This outfit mod adds the Muburus outfit from Black Desert Online. Now, you might be wondering why, out of the thousands of outfits available, I chose Muburus. This outfit captures the essence of a true Nord in Skyrim. Particularly, the cloak made of thick beast fur, along with a one-handed axe and a round shield, make it the epitome of a Nord shield maiden. With this astounding outfit, you can truly complete the look of your Nord character. And there you have it, fellow Dragonborns. These hidden gems are sure to elevate your Skyrim adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And donations through Patreon are very helpful in video production. Until our next quest, may your path be clear and your shouts mighty.